Hi everyone and welcome to Fairtrade Fortnite at the Co-op. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make our very own Fairtrade chocolate banana bread. So first of all we're going to get the following ingredients. So Fairtrade bananas from the Co-op. Um, these are great, pretty well priced and you want them nice and ripe so that they can be easier to work with. Uh, we're going to be needing some unsalted butter, um, some icing sugar for the icing afterwards, some granulated white sugar, we've got tea and lard from the co-op, which is fair trade, uh, just some eggs, and then we've got some fair trade chocolates. So for the baking we've got some just dark cooking chocolate, which is lovely and I've already opened, and some milk chocolate cocoa nibs, and then to garnish I've got some irresistible chocolate truffles, which are also fair trade, so they're going to go on top. Then we're going to need some plain flour, some baking soda and bicarbonate of soda and milk and some cocoa powder and that's all we need. We're going to preheat our oven to 180 degrees and then we're going to grease and line a loaf tin with grease free paper and then we're just going to set that aside until we're ready to bake. So first of all we're going to be putting 175 grams of fair trade white sugar into a bowl and then we're going to be doing 100 grams of softened butter and we're just going to mix it together until it's nice and fluffy. So next up we're going to slowly beat in the two eggs and then we're going to take one tablespoon of flour slowly sift it in and one tablespoon of cocoa powder and we're just going to keep on mixing until it's all combined. So next step we're going to be putting two fair trade ripe bananas into a bowl and then putting two tablespoons of skimmed milk, semi skimmed milk sorry. And then we're just going to mash them together so we've got a nice paste to add later to the mixture. So we just want to keep doing this until it's nice and mushy. If you've got ripe bananas this will be a lot easier and it's going to bring out a lovely sweet and fruity flavour. You want to make sure there's no lumps otherwise it's going to be a little bit lumpy in the loaf at the end. So get it nice and like a baby food consistency. And then we're going to slowly fold in our bananas. And we're going to do folds over adding a little bit at a time. Again, this is so that we're not getting uneven amounts of banana when we're tasting it. So now we're going to sieve in the rest of the flour, the rest of the cocoa powder, and the bicarbonate of soda and the baking powder. Just for reference, we're going to be doing 60 grams of cocoa powder, um, one teaspoon of baking soda and bicarbonate of soda each, and 110 grams of flour in total. If you've got big lumps like this, just use the back of the spoon to force it through the sieve. And then just get it all nice and combined together. Scrape around the edge of the bowl where necessary so that everything's nice and incorporated. Doesn't it look yum? So now we're just going to spoon it all into our greased and um, greaseproof papered tin and then we're going to smooth it all over so it's nice and consistent. All of these ingredients are available at the co-op and as I've mentioned most of them are fair trade 
of the, the things that have come from other countries. So we're making sure farmers and producers are getting fair wage for their work and for our lovely ingredients. So we're going to be putting it in the oven for an hour at 180 degrees. Half an hour in, we're just going to put some foil on the top of it, just so it doesn't burn the top, and then we're going to be able to make it nice and moist underneath the layer of icing. So in it goes for an hour, and I'll see you when it's done. So once we've had it in the oven for an hour, we're going to take it out and we're going to leave it in the tin for 10 minutes just to cool down a bit. We're then going to be transferring it to a wire rack, and then we're going to now make our icing, which I'm going to show you how to do now. So first we're going to put a tablespoon or a splash of milk in for our icing. Um, I'm using Tate and Lyle icing sugar, uh, which is fair trade and also available at the co-op. And it's going to be 60 grams of that. So I'm just going to put 60 grams in. And then we're going to be using 20 grams of cocoa powder. And then we're going to put 100 grams of butter in. Um, I've only got 50 grams here because I used not enough, but I will be topping it up with condensed milk. So, the same amount of condensed milk if you've only got half the butter like me. And then we're just going to mix it together. And then we're going to be icing the cake and putting on our lovely fair trade chocolates when we come up. So, you just want to keep combining until it's nice and smooth and silky. So now we're going to be coating our banana breads with the icing. So I'm going to spoon it on and then I'm going to uh, flatten it with a bent scraper to make sure it's all even. And just let it fall around the sides as well. And finally we're going to top it off with some fair trade cult truffles. Uh, we're just going to chop them into small pieces and sprinkle them on top and we're going to get a nice variety of flavours some of them are chocolate orange, we've got some praline in there and it's just going to be a, a nice little crunch on top as well So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and make sure to check out the co-op website and social media channels for more information about Fairtrade Fortnite. There's some really good content and it's such a good cause to understand a bit better and to make better, more ethical food choices. So I hope you enjoy the recipe and let me know how you get on with it.